Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1121 as a special dedication to a very supportive subscriber named Nisha, who has let me know that we have a reduction from 35 moves down to 28 on this level. So we can see that it's a hard level. We've got the skull in the purple. 28 moves and we need to clear out all 30 jelly and it's double thick and most of it's here although I see some under this popcorn. Now this is not populated with candy. That's what we need to do is get this populated. In order to do that we have to get rid of this chocolate, this dark chocolate which can grow upward or outward and then we have to pop these popcorn. If we can get them popped at the same rate, two of them next to each other, then we can do a color bomb color bomb combo. That would take out a layer of everything. But the board is going to try to work against us. We've got these cutouts, and then we've also got ticking time bombs. I see a perfect move I can make, though. Not only can I make this wrapped candy here to help over on this side, but I can also take out some of this chocolate right away, and so it cannot grow at me. I still want to keep taking it out because I don't want to lose this. So here, we've done that. Now I'm a bit stuck, but hopefully... I will be able to adjust things so I'll be able to take things out soon. Uh, now, should I do this? It would put two red together and this red would drop down here. I don't see that as being terribly helpful. If I do this, I've got a purple over here and a purple down here. That doesn't seem to work well. I think what I'm going to do is go for a bit of cascading. I'm going to take out I could also take out green. I don't have a lot of green, so it would concentrate the colors and have things flow. But I think when it, what I'm going to do is take out this purple, which will then drop the blue and take out the blue, and it might create some opportunities for cascading. So now we've got something to do with the red here. It's not perfect. Oh, hello. This is not perfect either, but it's pretty dang good because instead of being able to get this down here and blowing up twice and hitting these guys twice, I'll be able to take out a swath of three by three. It would be better if I could have gotten this down here, but it's already blocked anyway. It was going to explode here and then once down here. So let's do this. It's also going to hit this, which is going to have an impact, and we're going to even be making some space over here. And now I could make this stripe, but I'm going to just take out the chocolate. I no longer have to deal with the chocolate. It cannot grow at me. Now what do I do? I could take out some orange, and that would hopefully make a cascade. Or I could try to take out purple and red, because those aren't very prevalent colors. I'm going to try that first. Hmm, it's not going great, is it? Let's do this and bring it downward. Okay, so we got a little bit of a bounce there. I'll make a stripe. Here we go. So I can do another stripe and do a striped wrapped combo, or I could do a wrapped wrapped combo. The wrapped wrapped combo, it's a little too high to take all of these out. I'm gonna drop this down. I know I could have things accidentally explode, but there we go. Now it's close enough to get both of these and then I've already got this set up here, which looks good. These aren't together, but these are. And this is rather insulated. I can see what's coming down, and I don't see anything damaging these. So what I could do is try to take out other colors that will... If I take out more green, I'll be able to concentrate the orange that's on the board. There's still a chance that it could create a stripe over here and hit this and blow everything up. But I think this is worth the risk. I just don't want to take out orange because that would definitely set this off. So I'm going to remove green here. I'm still good. Uh, presumably I have more orange on the board. Now I could take out red. It would drop an orange here, but I don't see it hurting this. Okay, and now I have a rich area of orange here. So this is the time to do this. I don't want to take too many gambles on this. And that still gives me some moves left to help with everything else. Because I do still have some work to do. So I have three jelly left to remove. One, two, three. I can make a color bomb, which would take out... 
one jelly. I could do a stripe, which would take out two jelly, although this is double thick. I think what I'm going to do is this to make this single thick. And because this still exists, I'll do this. And then what? Oh, if I could move that over, that would be good. I can see what's happening here. There's a blue here, and I could get another blue. But this would drop down one, two, three, and I would have blue and blue and purple and red. And then I could try to take out all red from the board, right? Of, of course, then... That doesn't work so well because now both of these aren't red because I moved one downward. I think I will, though, take out all red from the board, get rid of the one that's higher up, and then work on getting this done. Okay, not quite there yet. I've got a lot of purple that could come down through here. Let's see. Let's bring more purple down. There we go. So that purple ended up helping out at the end. So Nisha, that's how I take care of this board. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing, all of you folks. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.